Hello guys, JP from JP's Pet Nation. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Another video out today, it is Sunday. In today's video, we're gonna be heading over to a West Midland Safari Park. And this is just a quick teaser of what's gonna be coming next week. We're gonna be looking at the um, sea lions and some of the cool tricks they can do. Honestly, this is just a quick teaser. This is just one of all three of them. I don't wanna spoil you all um, next week's video. But the tricks get absolutely amazing. I can't even lie to you. Some of the tricks I was doing was phenomenal. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification button. Tell me something about your beautiful faces down below. I love hearing from you guys. But these are absolutely phenomenal little creatures, these sea lions. And I wanted to share it with you guys. I've got two more videos coming up as well on it. With the last video being the best performance I've ever seen of sea of irons to be honest some of the tricks i was doing was absolutely phenomenal but i don't want to spoil it too much so enjoy today's and i'll see you now first up we're going to be coming around the front of the glass and we're going to be introducing you to our youngest sea lion so hopefully he has appeared through those oh. now this here is the very boisterous bounty so Bounty is our youngest sea lion here at the park. He is 11 years old. All three of our sea lions coincidentally have their birthday during lockdown. Now he is our sea lion that cannot sit still. He is always charging round, always causing trouble. Although with, since we have started the training, he has calmed down a bit. We've uh, managed to get him to sit still for a grand total of five seconds. So it's going well for us. Now Vicky, who's blatantly forgot something, has appeared around the side gate. So everyone say hi to Vicky. Hi. So Vicky is another one of our trainers. She is going to be working the sea lines while I am jabbering on at you. So you've said hello to me. You've said hello to Vicky. We do need to say hello to Bounty. So if you pick up your hands, give him a nice big wave to say hello. Hello. Bye. So with our sea lions today, we're going to answer a few of the questions that we get asked here quite a lot. Now first up, well, what is he? Now I've given the answer away already quite a few times. He is a sea lion, a Californian sea lion. However, if you pop on the interweb and you look up the park, you'll also find the bounty here is a whale, a dolphin, an otter, a seagull. At one time, a dear old lady called him a seashell. <laughs> you laugh, it's true. He is none of these things, ladies and gentlemen. He is a sea lion. Most commonly, however, he does get confused with a seal. Now, seals and sea lions, they are fairly similar. But we're going to show you some differences today. So forevermore, you will know the difference. Now, first up, kind of hard to spot. But it is the fact that you can see his ears. So on either side of Bounty's head, you'll hear he has got these little sticky out ears. Now seals tend not to have them. Their ears are internal. So usually just holes covered with fur. So if you see those ears, chances are you're looking at a sea lion. But we appreciate his ears are kind of small, you're far away, we'll move on. Now the next difference is to do with how they move on land. So seals, they've got something called a fixed hip joint. And basically, they are rubbish up on the land. So we are going to send Bounty up onto the land and he's going to do his best impression of a sea lion. Yeah. We'll give him a cheer, that was a lovely impression. Now you guys may have noticed, or you may notice throughout the show, that uh, our sea lions are a lot more mobile than that, a lot more agile. So the reason for that, they have a rotating hip joint. So they can tuck all four flippers underneath themselves, just like this. And they can essentially run or gallop across the land. So we'll give them a big cheer. <laughs> Now they are actually faster than any of us here. We could have a race to show you, but we would lose them. No, not today. We'd cry and then uh, you don't want to see that. Now the third difference between seals and sea lions is to do the size of their flippers. So adults in the audience, if you take a look at the size of your hand, 
Show any kids that might be with you. If there are no kids, show the least mature person you're with. <laughs> Is your hand is on average the same size as an adult seal's front flipper. So if you take a look at Bounties as he swims by here, you can see it is a lot, lot bigger. So that difference in flipper size means that seals, they can only do about 8 or 9 miles an hour. Whereas sea lions are a lot better, they can do about 25. Now they can also launch themselves out of the water at heights of up to 3. Whoa. Are you going to try for the next one and we're going to... Big cheer if he makes it. Woo! Whiskers count. Whiskers count. So there you go. Those are the differences between seals and sea lions. Those little ears, those flippers, and the way they move on land. So if I was asked to ask all of you guys out in the audience what bounty was, you'd all shout. <laughs> Only bounty did join in. <laughs> I mean, Bounty, are you impressed with yourself? No. no. <laughs> work, work in progress. Work in progress. Alright. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to say goodbye to Bounty. Because he's a dis... He's dis yeah, he's, well, he's joined us, frankly. Which is always a bit of a miracle in itself. So as I said, Bounty, he is our youngest sea lion. He is our crazy one who cannot sit still. Now our next one up is a year older. He is called Jack. And Jack is the polar opposite. If Jack could spend the entire day asleep, he would. In fact, he does. So any moment now, those doors in the middle of the stage are going to open up once again. Bounty is going to go disappearing through. And when he does, we are going to give him a massive cheer. He did do well after all. you like that guys thanks for watching um i've got a tour of the safari park coming up i've got a part two and part three of these seals again the tricks are getting absolutely insane at the end of it i don't want to spoil it but the last video you want to watch it some of them tricks they're doing is phenomenal these are a giant massive animal and yet so delicate and so good at their tricks all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time again bye